the J, the I, the M, the M, the Y, the J, the I, the M is Jimmy. Congratulations, Jeremy. Beautiful, beautiful film. Thank you, thank you. What does it mean to you when the Film Independent Spirit Award for cinematography, which has for so many years been so overlooked by so many other people? Uh, what you mean the film? Just because it, well, the film has been kind of skirting the mainstream, so to have it recognized here is, of course, meaningful. Uh, I mean, I come out of independent film, I, you know, I mean, The Witch, with the, everyone asked me, or many people asked me, it's my first movie, it's my eighth movie, you know, like, I got out of film school in 20, well, 2000, so this has been a long road and um, uh, not an easy one, but uh, just delusional enough to keep doing it. Did what you shoot on, uh, can you talk a little bit I, about, I, oh, sorry, 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 so sorry. Yeah. Uh, what yes, visual um, value? We shot in 35, right? Yes, we shot 35 black and white. Precisely, what visual value do you think that you delivered and you got by shooting in that beam as opposed to um, digital? Oh, yeah, on a technical level. I mean, I'm. Um, I mean, there are people that will spend lots of time coming up with clever uh, LUTs. Uh, I think I'd rather just get to the heart of the matter. So, but you know, uh, if I want to look to look a certain way. I just do it the way I, I know uh, will deliver. So yeah, we shot 35 black and white. I didn't think, uh, even color film, I didn't think would look the same. We tested it anyway, and, and uh, suspicions were confirmed. But uh, I think there's just a, a texture to it that is, you know, I mean, the film stock was uh, designed in the 50s, and there's just not another way that I know of to get that texture. So. Can you talk about like the multiple aspect rate, the different aspect ratios, and was that something that you and Eggers talked about and pre-planned, or was it more of a um, free-flowing? Uh, little that Rob and I do, as far as visual design, is, mm -hmm. is free-flowing. It's all uh, maybe a little oppressive, but that's what we're doing right now. That's what we're trying out. That's what we're exploring. Um, so yeah, the aspect ratio was always going to be boxy. Mm -hmm. It was going to be one three three, but uh, just. When I found out about movie tone, I just said, well, how about this? Almost like a joke. And <laughs> yeah. he loved it, you know? So then we just, you know, I mean, it's a crazy movie anyway, so yeah. fuck it, let's just go, let's go all the way. No, it's great. Thank you. Yeah? What is the sort of aesthetic, I mean, especially in this sort of Roger Deakins, RE full frame era that we're in, what is the aesthetic you've been working on, do you think, with Robert Eggers since The Witch? I mean, is there, are you sort of deliberately tacking away from where a lot of the rest of cinema is going? Or is that yeah, I don't know if we're thinking about uh, the rest of, well, you can't help but see movies, right? Um, and I've uh, had the just honor of meeting Roger re recently, and uh, it, it feels strange to sure. have uh, differing, you know, a couple differing uh, opinions from someone like that, but I think right now we're just interested in distilling things to whatever, their essence, you know, but it's, uh, we're just trying that out, so whether it's you know, coverage or uh, simplicity and lighting, you know, that's what we're, that's what we're after. Jim. Yeah. Jim Alexander with Real Talker. Um, what was the most exciting and challenging part of making this film? Because obviously it's got a different look. It is, you mentioned all the aesthetics, but what was the most exciting part for you tackling it and the challenge you came up with? I don't know, it was all exciting. I mean, it's, it's like, I mean, just... I've known Rob for 11 years, and there's a long time, you know, before The Witch got made. So to see him make a movie is, uh, that's, that's exciting. Whatever it is, you know, whether it's, uh, I mean, The Witch took four years, The Lighthouse has been around about the same amount of time. Um, and that kind of is frustrating, but at the same time you get to really delve deep into ideas. So, I mean, just the fact that he's around making movies and, and to be invited to that party is, uh, that, that's kind of just the most exciting thing, really. Great, great, thank, thank you, you everyone. Thank you. Thank you.